Hi, I'm Lynn from How To Heroes, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite things in the world, which are stuffed pumpkins. Um, basically, you're just going to start by hollowing out your pumpkins, take out those seeds, and clean it right out so that you'll be able to fill in as much filling as possible. So you want to put those aside, and then basically I have cooked four pieces of bacon, and I left everything in here because that's what we're going to cook the onions in. So basically the fat from the bacon is what we're going to cook the onions in. So I'm going to put this on medium high and let it heat up a little bit. Bacon is what makes everything taste good, let's face it. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. And we're going to saute these until they're translucent. Okay, so these are getting nice and translucent. Uh, definitely keep an eye on them. You don't want them to burn. So now we're going to add in our garlic. So I have four cloves of garlic in here. And this is about a tablespoon of ginger. And you just want to mix that in. Not for too long. Basically, you just want to get those wonderful, fragrant smells and flavors in there. And then to that I'm going to add half a cup of pine nuts, which I love. Pine nuts add a nice nutty texture to the stuffing. So it's good to put them in now because pine nuts are actually better when they're a little bit toasted. It brings out the flavor a little bit more. So you just want to toast them in here for about a minute. Okay, I think we're good now. So now we're going to put in our carrots. This is two carrots, minced. And you can um, blanch these, just like put them in boiling water for a second. But I feel like because you're going to bake them in the oven at 400 degrees for almost an hour, that they're going to cook, you know, fine. You know, I actually like them to have a tiny bit of a, a crunch to them. But look at the color of that. That just really brings this to life. So you just want to saute that again in there so it gets all the nice flavors worked in. Then we're going to add a generous amount of cumin. I use about two tablespoons because I feel like it's very fragrant but it's sort of a subtle flavor so I kind of load up on the cumin. Again just enough to mix it in there. And now we're going to add three quarters of a pound of ground turkey. I use the dark turkey because it has a little bit more fat on it and I just, I just like it better. You can also use ground um, meat, you can use ground veal, you could use uh, ground chicken, uh, whatever, you, whatever you like best. So you just mix this in. You just want to brown this. Again, it doesn't have to be fully cooked through because it's going to cook for another hour in the pumpkin. So this is getting close. You can see it's starting to, starting to brown. And I, I like to squash it with the back of my spoon to break up, because you don't want big chunks of the meat in there. And this is an easy way to keep it in the smaller pieces. At this point, I'm also going to add some wonderful fresh thyme. It's a handful. I'd say this is like probably a little bit more than a tablespoon. And then, you know, America's favorite food, I have four slices of bacon here. Yum! Go ahead and put that right in there. Just mix that up. And then I have some currants. Um, these are basically small raisins. I find that I like them better because they're less chewy than a raisin. You could also put in dried cranberries. Um, this is one of those things you really can't screw up. You just put in the things that you like, the things that you have around your house. Um, but I really like adding the currants because it just has, it's a nice sweetness that balances out the savoriness of the dish. So that's it. The last step here is that you add in a cup of cooked rice. Rice is just two to one, so two cups of water to one cup of rice. 20 minutes, little salt bobs your uncle, you're done with that. So I have my rice here already cooked, and I'm just going to put that right in. 
Sometimes I even put a little less than a cup because, I don't know, I don't think it really needs that much rice. Doesn't that look pretty? So there you go. That is the filling. I'm just now going to add some salt and pepper. taste it. You got to taste everything that you cook. Mmm. Good times. Okay. Now we're going to stuff these bad boys. Super easy. Just take off the tops. I'm going to get a better spoon because nobody wants to have something I put my mouth all over. And you just dump it in there. Look at that. Can you tell I love this meal? I love it. I love to cook it, I love to serve it, and I love to eat it. Those are the three key things of making a great meal. Okay, so this is all you do here. And what I do is I put the top just a little bit askew like that when I bake it just to make sure that the, the insides get cooked okay. And then I basically just put a little olive oil in my hands because I don't mind getting my hands dirty once again. And you just kind of massage the outside and the top of your pumpkin and then you're going to roast this at 400 degrees for about 50 minutes. You'll know it's done if you take a knife and you kind of stick it in the bottom and if it goes through very easily you know that your pumpkin is done. The great thing about when you eat this is the pumpkin is obviously edible so as you're eating it you kind of take a spoon or take your fork and scrape in the edges to incorporate it with the rest of the filling. It's absolutely heavenly. So now we're going to roast this. So it's been 50 minutes. We're going to check on our pumpkins. Oh yeah. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. So let's just take a little test to make sure that the pumpkin is done. Just want to put this through. See how easily that knife went through? Again, just stick it right in there comes out really easily. That means it's done. So you just serve these on a nice plate. Frankly, you don't need anything else but this. It has all your vegetables and your protein, everything right in one bowl. Hope you try it.